Can't you just unload around me? So this happened earlier today and was too perfect to not share with you guys. I work in construction as the foreman for a new house build. The location is kinda strange. The house is 250 feet up a hill via a footpath only. All of our materials have to come up this footpath by hand. It's a pain in the ass to manually carry, quite literally, an entire house up this hill. One of our saving graces is having the two parking spots on the street at the bottom of this hill marked with official no parking signs. Unfortunately there is an elementary school about half a block away and the parents of children seem to regularly at least twice a day think it's okay to park in our spots. Now I consider myself a reasonable person. So if someone is parked in the spots and we don't have a delivery or a need to park a truck I will let it go. If we need the spots and there's someone parked there. However, I will ask them to move nicely and most of the time they do so immediately. Until today, I get a phone call from the lumber delivery truck that is en route to our location. He says he'll be there in about 2 or 3 minutes. I let him know I will meet him at the street and make sure he has space to park. He's carrying all of the material to frame the roof of our house. Which is a lot of really big lumber and will take easily an hour to bring up the hill. So naturally I didn't want him parked in the middle of the street with his hazards on for an hour. When we have a perfectly good parking spot for him. As I begin my trip down the hill. I notice there is a school parent sitting in her car idling. Assuming she's just waiting to pick up her child. I walk up to her car and politely let her know that she is parked in a no parking zone and we really need her to clear it to park a delivery truck. She scoffs at me and rudely states back. I'll just be a few minutes. And your truck isn't here. Take a chill pill dude. Before I can respond. A giant lumber truck comes around the corner and I wave to him. And then gesture towards him to the woman in the car who has now put her window back up to ignore me. I put on my best customer service smile and wave at her through the window. She put it down halfway and angrily shouts what by now the truck has pulled up alongside her car and I politely ask her again. With a stronger tone of voice to move her vehicle. Reminding her that she is illegally parked in a tow away zone. Then she gives me this wonderful idea. She says. Can't you guys just unload around me? Jesus. It's not that hard, I give her another smile and walk away. A brilliant plan forming in my head. I instruct the delivery driver to park as closely to her as possible and block her in with the porter potty that is at one end of our reserve spots and the parked car that is parked just adjacent to our spots on the other end. He smiles because he immediately gets what I'm trying to do. And proceeds to expertly block this lady and her car into a little two parking spot jail. We unstrap the lumber and my guys begin humping material up the hill. Meanwhile I call the police parking enforcement to let them know the situation. At this point in time I wasn't trying to get her in trouble. I just wanted a record of why we were blocking part of the street so we don't get in trouble with the city. The very friendly traffic officer lets me know that she can be there in about 30 minutes and deal with the situation for me. Wonderful. As we continue to unload lumber the child of the parent shows up. And wouldn't you know it mom is just now realizing that the lumber truck is parked so close she can't get out of her driver door to meet her kid. She awkwardly clambers across the inside of her car and stumbles out the passenger door. Shooting glaring looks at me and the truck driver in the process. She loads her kid into the back and then begins to realize that she has no way of leaving. She comes storming up to myself and the driver and states. I'm in a big hurry. You need to move your damn truck right now so I can go. Before I can respond the driver gets a grin on his face and says. Mom in order to unload the lumber on the truck we had to unstrap it. And per our company policy I'm not allowed to move the truck with any unsecured load on it. Sorry. This sends her into near aneurysm levels of blood pressure. Meanwhile I can barely contain my laughter. Frick your policy I have somewhere to be. She barks back at him. At this point. With impeccably convenient timing the parking enforcement officer shows up and parks behind the truck. 
She doesn't see the officer arrive and while the officer is still getting out of her vehicle I just casually say. Can't you just pull out around it? It's not that hard. With the biggest shiz eating grin I've ever had I watch as she realizes that I just used her line on her. Frick you, she yells, and storms back to her car and angrily clambers back in through the passenger door and into the driver's seat. At this point the officer is walking up to myself and the driver. Before she can even introduce herself the mom in the car slams it into reverse and stomps on the gas. Crashing into our porta potty and knocking it over. And then throws the car into drive and tries to mount the curb and drive on the sidewalk. The officer, driver and I are staring in disbelief as she gets halfway over the curb and gets stuck. I can hear her screaming obscenities over the idling truck from inside her car. The officer promptly walks up to the door of the car and orders her out. My favorite part of the entire thing is watching her face go to shock as she realized she just did all of that in front of a police officer. She gets slapped in cuffs as the parking officer calls for a second unit and she is promptly sat on the very curb she tried to drive over. She sits on the curb yelling to the now two officers about how we told her she could stay there and that we never asked her to move. The traffic officer responds that she was the one who was originally called when she first refused to move and that she already knows what's going on. While myself and the driver are giving a report to the second officer. My guys finish moving the remainder of the lumber and the driver finishes his statement and takes off to go back to the yard. By the end of the ordeal she was arrested. Charged with child endangerment. Her kid was in the back of the car the whole time reckless driving. Destruction of property. The porter potty and driving on a suspended license. On top of all that she also got her car towed. The kid went home with his grandma and she went to spend some quality time in a cell. I never expected her to actually heed my advice to just pull out around it. But I think next time she'll probably think twice about parking in a tow away zone. If she ever gets a license again. TLDR, rude lady parks in construction site reserved parking. Asks us to unload around her. So we park blocking her to do so. Gets mad when she now has no way out. Crashes into our porta potty and tries to mount the sidewalk. Gets stuck. And the arrested by an officer who was on scene. And all with her child in the back seat. It is always so painful to read about people slowly making worse and worse decisions. Basically every step of the way she was able to acknowledge her bad decision and take her small retribution. But she kept making it worse and worse. Is it wrong for me not to be surprised at all that she had a suspended license? It seems to go with that type of person. The suspended license was the best part for me. Everyone knows if you're riding dirty you keep your head down and obey traffic laws. Obviously not everyone. This is some quality, ah, uh, malicious compliance. Actually posted it there first and was redirected here. Are the owners of the house just going to park 250 feet below their house every day? Yup. It seems like a terrible place to live Imo. Groceries have to go up the hill. Trash and have to go up and down. It really doesn't appeal to me. Is this like a really sought after part of town to live or something? If this school is anything like my kids. They've sent email upon email and letter upon letter home to tell people not to park in these spots. My kids school has a curb in front with a ton of no parking from 8 to 4 signs out there there's a drop off point literally at the next right. And it's still amazing how many people still ignore them. You may actually want to let the school know about these spots so any future idiots have even less footing to stand on. No parking signs will forever be ignored by the I'll only be 5 minutes crowd. Low risk plus high convenience equals breeding ground for selfish behavior. I work on construction sites too. The amount of precision workers can park massive trucks with is amazing to me. Blows my mind every time. I'm sure some of them live for the days like today. Using their talents for the good of mankind. Like those godly forklift drivers boxing in thieves the other day. Well worth the read. 
Methinks you performed a public service there. Her growing stupidity is incredible. I had something similar happen when I lived at the end of a street which backed up to a middle school. We dealt with parents blocking our entire street on both sides to avoid the pickup line at the school. I had one lady literally block my driveway and flick me off when I asked her to move. After about a year of dealing with this, and lots of complaints to the school and local law enforcement, they installed no parking anytime signs all the way down the street to try and deter people from parking. Still no luck. My roommate and I decided to park our cars parallel to each other right at the start of the cul-de-sac in front of my house before they started showing up so the parents couldn't turn back around and leave. Sure enough, car by car, they started to pile in and block themselves in. We called the cops, which for once showed up in a timely manner, blocked the other end of the street and started walking down issuing tickets. We moved our cars back into my driveway before they got there sat on the front porch with shiz eating grins and drank some afternoon beers while these cops handed out tickets was the best day ever needless to say they finally stopped picking their kids up on our street i lived a few houses away from an elementary school until i was in my 20s parents would always block our driveway sometimes they'd park in our driveway contractor here. The opportunities we occasionally get to exercise malicious compliance and allow selfish neophytes to learn a dynamic life lesson are precious. Well done. Rare but awesome. The fact that she got arrested for driving with a suspended license and destroying a porta potty made this story all the more better. Best. Plot twist. Ever. Yeah. Anyone who feels like this lady's life is ruined because of one bad mistake can take solace in the fact that a person driving with a suspended license did not make just one mistake in their lives. Bad things like this don't just happen to random good people. This was a long time coming. I can see the version of events on Facebook from her perspective painting her as the victim and it makes me ill.